Hello, everybody, and good day. This is Fred Wood Tech Talk and Wentworth CCTV of New England, and we are coming at you today with a subscriber uh, or viewer requested video on configuring the internal, the built in PoE switch in a DAWA NVR. What has happened is our viewer, um, he's actually a subscriber, Joel, has taken on a job. He is a CCTV security camera installer, he's a technician. And he's taken on a job at a marina. It's, it's specifically a boat storage uh, area. And there are 12 DAWA IP cameras um, that were hardwired to a DAWA NVR. And of course, when the system was installed several years ago, uh, the cameras and the NVR were both brand new. Uh, and as everybody knows, in that scenario, when the cameras are hardwired to the back of the NVR and you fire the NVR up for the first time, it's going to pre-configure uh, those cameras, okay? It's plug and play. Everything's going to be set up for you. Uh, at the time of the installation, the facility had Comcast as an ISP, as an internet service provider. Uh, so the cameras were configured on that gateway. And now what has happened over the years is the NVR has failed. It's no longer good. And they have hired the installer uh, to get the system back up and running which includes replacing the NVR, okay? So we plugged in the NVR, he put in the credentials for, for the cameras, the IP addresses, um, usernames and passwords, and, and nothing came up. And it threw him for a loop, so we reached out for some technical support, and after some troubleshooting, we determined, um, obviously the cameras, as stated, they were installed on the Comcast network with a 10.1.10.1 gateway, and they were configured IP addresses on that network. Okay, so the cameras uh, started at 10.1.10.130, and they went all the way to 145. Okay, and when these new DAWA NVRs get shipped, they are configured by default to have the built-in PoE switch on a 10.1.1.1 gateway. And so the issue is those cameras are not on the same gateway as the NVR. So they can't communicate. Even though he's got the right username and password, um, the NVR can't reach the camera. So in that situation, what we have to do is we have to log into the NVR and change the settings in that internal switch. Okay, it's not a difficult process. We're going to get into it right now. All right, everybody, what do you say? Let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, you know the drill. There is a red subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Please click that and subscribe to our channel if you have not yet done so. That way you can be notified when we upload future content. Also like the video if it's useful. And as always, leave comments. This video and much of our content is based on viewer and subscriber question and comments. So in this case, we have an installer in the field. He has installed the NVR, connected the cameras to it, and they are not coming up because we have identified when the cameras were installed. Uh, they were configured with a 10.1.10.1 gateway, um, and the NVR comes... Uh, configured as shipped with a 10.1.1.1 gateway. So because the two gateways do not bat match, the um, NVR can't communicate with the cameras, right? And that's why they're not showing up. So to fix this, it's not a super difficult process. We're just going to go to this icon here right beside setting. When you click that, okay, uh, you're going to see camera as one of the options, okay? And in this situation, um, today when I looked at it, these cameras uh, all had a red status. And of course we could see the 10.1.10.1 um, IP addresses. And so then I knew immediately that, that they weren't matching the board um, in the built-in PoE in, uh, of the NVR. Um, so when you see that red, the way to fix that, okay, is we're gonna, Go back up here, we're gonna pick network. And when you're in network, one of your options is right here, switch, okay? This is the configuration settings for that built-in P 
PoE switch, okay? And what we would do is change this, okay, to match the old gateway that Comcast had, okay? Uh, now the facility actually has fiber. It has a fiber switch and also uh, a routing device that is giving the uh, the clients in the business, in the marina, uh, a 192.168.1.1 gateway. Um, so I know nothing is on this 10.1.10.1. So we can leave the IP address and the gateway uh, as that uh, and apply these settings. Okay. And so now when we go into those camera settings, we should see those cameras listed um, in green. They should be showing green for status. If they don't, um, what you'd want to do now that the cameras are on the same gateway, go into edit and change your password, okay, to match the password of the camera. And once you do that, you can give it a second and it should go green, okay. And that is how you match the configuration settings of that switch to that of the camera. And once they're on the same highway, uh, they can communicate again. Okay. And everything will be fine. Um, while you're in there, um, of course, in the network tab, you'll also want to make sure if it's a new NVR, um, that you go into the TCP IP settings, um, click modify and you want to, whoop, I right clicked. You'll want to make sure this is in DHCP. Uh, DHCP allows the routing device on site to issue an IP address um, favorable to it on, on the NVR, on, to the NVR. Uh, if you leave it on static as it gets shipped, this is going to be 192.168.1.108. And if your location has a different gateway, which is often the case, the recorder will not go online unless you have it uh, in DHCP. Okay. The other thing um, that, that we can show you while we're here, uh, P2P is how you enable the phone app. Okay. Dawa NVRs do use the DMSS uh, phone app. There's a link going across the top of your screen right now um, that will walk you through how to download that app uh, from the app store in your phone uh, and how to connect devices to it. Um, but in order to do that, you will have to enable the P2P function, okay? And when you install that phone app, uh, the first time you log into it, it's gonna ask you to add a device. You would hit plus, and you could scan this QR code, and um, the NVR would appear on, on the phone app, okay? So it's not a difficult process. You'll wanna make sure, um, again, that your switch settings um, match that of the IP cameras you're you're trying to connect to it. Okay, if if this is not 10.1.10.1, and the cameras are on a 10.1.10.1 gateway, um, you can't connect them. Okay, so hopefully that helps out, Joel. Um, I tried to make the video as fast as I could. Um, I'll see everybody in the field.